southern part of the country, the eastern part, to appreciate that kind yeah, of beauty. Yeah, especially if so. you're homesick. So anyway, the hairspray on both sides, and, and they'll hang in for, for a while. Now, Beverly Wright of El Paso, Texas, had a wonderful idea. Beverly, I think you ought to patent this little thing. It's, isn't she pretty? Yeah. Uh, nifty little gifts for anybody who does a lot of crafts or sewing and uses a lot of little measurements. Uh -huh. That's what this is. It's a little measuring thing. This is done. Here, I'll show you. She did this on graph paper, quarter-inch graph paper, so you know your measurements right away, and they're pretty accurate. Uh -huh. Glued it to, and I use glue, glued it to a piece of cardboard. Uh -huh. Drew it like the, however, whatever measurement you want. Like this is one, two, three, four, five, six, so that would be an inch and a half. Uh, and we have an inch here. And then what and, does she use this for? And this is when, as I say, when your measurements call, when you're doing a lot of sewing or crafts, well, you know, an inch here, an inch and a half there. And it's just a lot easier, more convenient, and faster than using... Having a measuring tape? The tape or the, or the ruler, yes. Great. Anyway, you put it on the um, cardboard, draw this, and then cover it with contact. And huh. then cut it out and put a little hole in it so you can hang it up or hang it around your neck. Really, it just saves all kinds of time. Great. Yeah. Now we wow. have an update. This is really exciting. Oh, on the Warm Up America thing that we mentioned a couple of weeks ago, and we were asking folks to send in their crochet or their knitted squares to, to make or an Or rectangles. Afghan. It's actually, rectangles. what, seven by nine call them squares. You're, oh, you did pay attention. I yes. pay attention. Good, yes, I good. do, Carol. We were hardly off the air yeah. when the folks out at the House of Fabrics began getting these from, from you, from our viewers. And I got a call from uh, Susan Light, uh, who's a Brownie Troop leader, a Brownie Troop 1081 out uh -huh. in Merrimack uh, a School in Long Island, they are using this as a project. All 24 little brownies are knitting and crocheting and they're oh, going to join this. That's great. So now, just any leftover yarn you might have hanging around right. the house from a sweater that got too big or whatever. And whether you crochet or whether you knit or whatever, just so the rectangles are like about seven by nine inches and then you can put them all together, 49 of them into a whole great big afghan if you want to, or simply send them to this, this address. This address where they will be making